We're live from Chevy Chase. Well, we hope you grab that second cup of coffee because it's time for our morning chat. And ladies, we're talking fashion. That's right, we are here with JC, owner of Roar Couture. It's a one-of-a-kind millinery shop that specializes in artistic accessories through their online shop and mobile boutique. Welcome to the show. Thank you, I'm honored. I'm grateful, thank you for having me. Well, listen, you're a showstopper. Thank I mean, you understood the assignment today. <laughs> yeah. You're matching our set, you brought some of your beautiful couture creations, but JC, when we talk about couture and millinery, just explain briefly what that is. Okay, so couture um, is a fashion term for, um, it's one of a kind, handmade. So the fashion is one of a kind, handmade. So when I send you off to the races mm -hmm. wearing a royal couture, I promise you, nobody else is gonna have your hat. It is truly yours, truly yours, yes. and I really take pride in that. So. Well, we can attest to that, because <laughs> we had to call on you last year for Derby. Yes. We decided to go to Keeneland to celebrate Derby, which is a perfect place to do it, whether yes. you're you know, at Churchill or Keeneland. Mm -hmm. And uh, you came in, you dressed us with these hats. In fact, I think we have a picture of it. Look at us there. There we are. I won the hat contest. You did. Thank, I mean, and I like winning. By the way. <laughs> I like winning. And so we won because your hats stand alone. They're yes. a standalone piece. So what inspires you? What is your design style? Where do you pull all this from? So I've never been one to follow trends. I do follow like spring trends, um, but I just get inspiration from the world, from cultures, from, I mean, I'm just sporadic. If I see a feather or a fabric and I just throw it together and it's always the customer too. I have to read my client. I look at what kind of dress they wear, their personality, and of course I like big, bold, you know, and that's what show it's all about. stopping. Yeah, Derby's a big day. Right. Um, you just, it's it's a bucket list thing. So go big or go home is how I see it. But if you're more conservative, I could do that too. So yes. customs are always an option. Well, you have some beautiful examples of some of your work here. And where can people find your work in Lexington? Okay, so in Lexington, uh, Bella Rose Boutique on Maxwell. We know um, it well. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. So they have an exclusive line of mine. And then online, www.roarcouture.com. Um, that will go live on Monday, uh, my collection, and then I'll be at the Golf House in Louisville. Oh, this is so exciting. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. And why do you do what you do? <laughs> this is a big job. Um, well, I actually do have a fashion design degree from Columbia College Chicago, and when I moved back to Kentucky, I'm like, what the heck am I going to do with a fashion <laughs> design degree in Kentucky, like seriously? Yeah, yeah. And because um, online back then wasn't a thing. Right, like, People right. weren't shopping online. Mm -hmm. so. I kind of fell into it. I actually did work for a milliner in Chicago, um, but I went to Keeneland one day with my husband and literally my baby on my hip. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd never been, because I'm from Western Kentucky, Ellis Park. So okay. it's a little okay. bit different than yes. Keeneland. Um, and I made a hat the night before. I'm like, Mama's Day out, I need a, I need a break. Right. And everybody kept coming up and asking me, who made your hat, where did you get your hat? And I'm like, I did. I literally walked out of Keeneland that day with custom orders for Derby. Oh, wow. And that was what in 2008, and my 16-year-old was one, and I yes. literally had spit up all <laughs> over my dress, and nobody <laughs> looked at it because they were looking at my hat. So I That's love right. It. I love yeah. it. The hat is the showpiece yes. for any Derby outfit, and even through the racing season at Keeneland, Ellis Park. Then you, do you do any work for, like, Ascot and the Royal Ascot and that kind of thing? I do. I have a handful of... Um, clients that are yeah. horse race owners so mm -hmm. they come to me I have made some hats for the Ascots and then some of the different races in the United States yeah. my horse owners always come to me so yes. I'm, I'm grateful for them they're where you are the best <laughs> and what's exciting is you have a couple of pop-up shops happening let's I talk do, about I those do. yes so when are those happening so I have one on oh gosh oh god they're coming up yeah. in april so right april in fact 12th. i think we have some information yeah april 12th yes. and april 13th yes okay. so um i have a mobile boutique um i got my mom van no yes. it's actually a pro master <laughs> van so i have a mobile moving boutique and i'm launching it this year because you know yeah. it's kind of seasonal and i'm expanding but that's it's so perfect. Exciting. You know, it I don't have so to pay exciting. rent. I do have to pay <laughs> right. payments, but not rent. So. Yes, I love we it. Love it. I love well, it. we love your designs. Thank you for coming to the show today. 
Lee, which hat are we going to wear? <laughs> I'll take all of them. <laughs> you know, maybe we could be the first women at Derby who have like this whole, you know, four day look. Yeah. Oh, we, know, change we change times. outfits, we change hats. You can. Listen, let's I make it happen. Great. All right. <laughs> Thank you, JC. Thank you. All of her information is up on the screen.